What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Masculine Energy. Yep, I got my hat on today. The reason I have my hat on is because I don't feel like doing shit with my hair. And yeah, it's going to be weird for you guys. It's weird for me too because I don't wear hats. But uh, fuck it. Here we go. So in this video, we're going to talk about what do you say to your ex and what do you say to anybody who might be coming back around um, to you f after a breakup. But first, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you join the email list. What you do is you highlight the link that I provide for you eventually when I decide to do my YouTube subscriptions. You put that in your address bar up above and then you fill out the information there and then you hit done. And then what you, what you do is you're going to receive you one of the first emails from me. And then there I follow up some campaigns. I'm going to have a massive campaign push probably after I hit my 150th, maybe 200th YouTube video. And I'm at 106 videos now, oddly enough, comes fast, right? And I hope you guys are enjoying and I want to thank everybody for um, all of your wonderful contributions and, and uh, the watch time and all that stuff. I can't thank you guys enough for being a part of the community and helping me out uh, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So what do you do? What do you say when your ex kind of reaches out or, or what do you do when they actually make the move to, to come back around to you, to, to reconnect? Well, you don't do anything fucking negative. You don't bring up any negative baggage. You don't bring up anything that would possibly push them even further away because let's analyze real quick why they are feeling the way that they are. When they break up with you, they are losing attraction and they're they're doing things to get away from you. When they break up with you, they feel a, like a, a big thing of relief, like a big sigh of relief from you. They feel they're glad that you're gone at first, right? Basically, you have to realize they're associating you with negative feelings. They're associating you with negative behavior and they actually don't want anything to do with you right now. So you need to spark some positivity in their eyes about you and it's extremely hard to do this because when you get broken up with you have all of these horrible feelings going through you they're feeling relief you're feeling hurt heartbreak anger sadness all at once you are shitting out everything you eat or constipated you are feeling every bit you'd probably rather be physically hurt than emotionally hurt at this point that's all i'll really say about that and they are feeling quite blissful they're they're happy they're they're tired of dealing with you so when they're away from you they're doing well they're like oh my god thank you jesus because they don't have to deal with you anymore they don't have to deal with the negative emotions associated with you because they are probably thinking about the breakup ages ago they were thinking about it a long time ago they've been thinking about it for weeks maybe months maybe years depending on how long you guys were together for right so you have to um invigorate some sort of positivity in their mind. And well, how do you do that? What do you do? So you obviously can't force someone to be with you. You can't force someone to, you know, run back into your arms with your words and your will alone. It has to be a free will. It has to be of their volition. They have to want to come back to you. They have to want to love you again. They have to want to explore loving you and being in a relationship with you again. Well, how do you do that? You give them space and you give them the opportunity to love you again. You give them the choice to come back. Not force, but choice. You give them the, an opportunity to, to look back at their relationship and look back at you, and you give them the chance to reevaluate everything about their life and their life with you. And then what they're going to do is, after a breakup, they're going to sit there and they're going to uh, sort of have a little bit of fun, and they're going to be enjoying the space that they have from you, and they're going to be enjoying... The time with their friends and family and and other men does, or other women depends on what what's going on, and then they're um they're going to sit there and they're going to like reevaluate everything about their life and and stuff with you because they're going to have some sort of bond towards you. They're going to have stuff of yours. They're going to have they're, they're going to have some sort of connection to you, and there's going to be things that they're going to think about when they're at home, like you know in bed. They can't you can't avoid those. Disclaimer: females are going to be moving on. A lot faster than males do there some of them will already be, be moved on so take this advice and anything else that you hear um not necessarily with a grain of salt but just make sure that you don't think or think that anything's gonna happen 100 percent. they're humans things change they're unique people okay not everything's going to work properly not everything's going to uh, go by exactly how i say now, there's some people who get friend zoned and don't get unfriend zoned and they get their girlfriend back. There's some things that happen that are out of the norm or 
that aren't as attractive that I tell people not to do and they do it anyway and it works. See, everyone is different, but most of the time, 97%, 98% of the time, the right thing to do is to do no contact, stay away, back off, let them feel the, the breakup and the connection, the, sorry, the disconnection and let them make, let them live their lives a little bit, give them space, give them time to understand what it's like to be without you. There's going to be so many things they're going to miss about you. There's going to be all kinds of sexual things. There's going to be uh, all kinds of things that you did for them that they're going to miss and not understand uh, how much it meant to them because they haven't been away from you long enough. So they're going to, they're going to feel all these things hit them sort of at random times. And then you have to remember, it's not 30 days, it's not 60 days, 90 days or 120 days, give or take. If I had to put a number, that's what it would be. But still, it's not guaranteed. And the 30 day no contact rule and any of those videos that you see about 30 day no contact is a bunch of horseshit. You can't follow that stuff. 30 days is not even long enough for them to even like have enough fun without you. It's going to take three, four, five, six months, eight months, a year for you to hear back from from your ex and for them to even revisit the idea of of being with you because it's going to take that long for them to dissociate any negative bullshit that happened and um, they're going to start remembering the positive they're going to start remembering what it's like to be with you to have sex with you to go on dates with you to be romantic with you okay to connect with you again and most people when they hear from their ex they just go boom right back into negativity mode and they go right back into you hurt me and and uh how have you been with other guys all jealous and their ego is fucking showing right so you got to go back to dating again you got to go back to um hey let's make a date hey like how have you been what have you been doing and you got to let go if they've been with somebody else let it go it hurts and it's hard but especially with a female it's her choice who she sleeps with when it happens and what she does is none of your business if it's she's not with you okay she's going to do what she wants when she wants with who she wants at any time she wants so you got to remember that it's it's and you can do that too you're a human being you're a man um because this channel is geared towards men masculine energy right so you can do that too and you when you focus on yourself because it is the best option then when you revisit the relationship they're going to be thinking about you and then they're going to be um, wondering if anything's changed because they're like, oh man, it's been like six months since I talked to Kyle. Like, I wonder if anything's changed. I wonder if he's the same guy. And if you start spewing negative bullshit towards him, like, oh, fuck, see, he's the same negative guy he was. And then, then eventually they'll keep giving more and more time between each time they talk to you. Like they might reach out and it might be like a couple of days. They might text you for a few days. You spew your negative bullshit towards them. And then they're going to be like, Oh, you know what? And they're going to wait a week or two weeks to even talk to you again. But if you're like, Hey, I'd love to see you. Uh, I think that maybe we should, you know, go on a date. I'd love to, I'd love to see your beautiful face again. You can say something, you can say something charming. You just can't be a negative Nancy and you can't just be an asshole and, and, and start spewing all of your, your, your feelings towards her because she's just going to be like, look, you know what? I don't want to associate you. I don't want to associate myself with you. I'd rather just be single or I'd rather just be with another guy. And you might not even get to this stage. Maybe they come straight back. You know what I mean? Maybe they, maybe they decide that you're awesome and maybe they decide that you're awesome to be with and they love being around you and they would rather sit there and be with you and then be alone. During this time, you have to be improving yourself. You have to be working on your financial goals. You have to be working on your businesses. You got to be working on your you and your body and, and making yourself the best you you can. Because if you don't, then you're just the same person and they're, just, they're not going to want that. They're going to want to just go. See, they might even want to move on to somebody who is already there when you have the potential to be there. So always go for your top potential too. Absolutely go crush it, guys. Go out and crush your goals. Go out and make sure that you're working on that shit before you start spewing your negative bullshit onto your exes. And uh, yeah, they're thinking about you for sure. They're thinking about you. They're they're going to be, it's, it's impossible not. But right away, they're gonna be thinking about the negative and you gotta get them to think about the positive. So go out, work on yourself. And if they have you on social media, start posting all the cool shit you're doing. They're going to see it and they're going to be like, oh, you know what? Maybe they aren't like, you, you know, they immediately right off the bat might think it's a manipulation tactic. But if you keep it, keep it up and you keep hitting the gym and you keep doing all these things, they're going to realize that it's now part of your actual human behavior. They're going to realize that it's you. If you start like smashing the gym after a breakup, 
they're going to see that stuff. Maybe you're posting your workouts. Maybe you're posting how much you're going. They're going to see that and they're going to be like, oh, okay, maybe he's going just for a week. And they're going to, to sort of test you in their own mind. And they're going to be like, well, well, he'll probably just stop going in about a week or two. Then they're going to see that you're constantly going, constantly going, constantly going. Then that stuff is going to bleed into other areas of your life. That stuff is going to bleed into your mental, mental uh, strength. And then your emotional strength is going to get better. You start meditating. You start talking to me and you start learning things that you don't even really know even exist in society. Awesome shit that you guys should all be learning. Reading books that I recommend, like learning business stuff. Like you could guy, you guys could be crushing it. So that's it for this video. I love you guys. Stay tuned for the next one and definitely hit that subscribe button and the like button in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys think about this video and about my hat. <laughs> um, I do have fantastic hair, especially when I get a haircut, but right now it's just that. <laughs> so I'd rather just put this on and you know, go back to work. All right, guys, take it easy. See you in the next one.